All right, hello everyone, welcome back. Um, today I'm gonna to be talking about Respondent. It's a website where you can take part in research projects for a company and get paid for it. Um, so in this video, I'm just gonna run through my experience, uh, tell you about the couple of projects that I've taken part in, how much I earned, and then just give my general view of the platform and whether I think it's a good side hustle or not, whether it's worth your time to give it a try. Uh, so yeah, first I'll just show you around the website. So this is here, just search into Google respondent.io and it'll come up. You have to sign up, uh, give a few details about yourself, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then you can get started. So it's, I'll leave a link in the description anyway. Um, so let's have, have a look at a few example projects. So here you can see there's a few different ones um, and you can earn quite a lot of money. Now I'll go through some of them later, but maybe I'll just talk a, touch on what I've done myself. So these are all the ones that I've done. So the first one I did, it took me about maybe 10 days. I'd go onto respondent go to that dash or sorry that browse projects tab and just like click uh just apply for any of the ones that i could i could do uh so the first one i did was for money like management app so they wanted me to i can't give the name of the company because they asked me to sign an nda but they asked me to come in have an interview uh, and bring with me like um a mind map of my thoughts about money and online finance and stuff like that. So I made this uh, money management mind map for them, came in to Dublin, I live in Dublin. So I went into the city, did like an hour's interview. They just asked me questions about how, how I uh, manage my money, how I feel about the different apps on my phone that are banking or finance related asked me a lot of questions it was great it was me and one other guy um and it was easy enough questions but i i tried really well i tried to help it them as much as i can to give my best opinions and ideas for them and i made a nice uh mind map so i think that's really important if if you're invited for a project make sure you really go the extra mile to help the company get good information and you're not just saying, you know, like just saying anything, just just to get the money and not tr being useful at all to anyone. So yeah, I, I was helpful. It was only an hour. So in total to make the mind map and to go into the city and have the interview, it's probably two hours work. And I got $90 for that. So that was nice. And then, uh, the same people asked me because I did a good job the first time they asked me to come back and concept test and now their app, which was just at a, you can see it was about a couple of weeks later at this stage, it was just in the idea phase. And now it was like the app was kind of semi in the works. So I could actually, it was, a, it was a remote. The second one was a remote interview. So we just Skyped. And he asked me to download this app and kind of try using it and see where my pain points were or what what features were good, what features were bad. So again, I was very helpful and uh, try to give him the best advice I could. And yeah, I got another $75 for that. That was nice. Um, and the last one, I just got $10 for um, going onto a website and voicing aloud my opinions about the usability of the website so what's what could be better what they give me a few tasks to do on the website like for example find this find the map for this place in this website so i'd have to go okay maybe it's in uh whatever say on this website it said museum i would go into museum tab find map and click it and try and say which ways will be better 
So let's just go through the dashboard and see what kind of projects it can do. So if you're like me or me at the time, I was, I didn't have any professional experience really outside like waiting tables and etc. So if you're, if you're like me, it's with, without like a lot of professional experience, it can be kind of hard to find a, a gig like that. So I was lucky. So they don't come up too often where it's one-on-one -on -one in the city you live. So it's kind of hard to find those kind of, um, uh, those kind of, I suppose, projects. But if you're, if you're a professional, obviously there's less professionals who would go onto a, a site like this. So there's a lot more offers, especially for anyone who works in like cloud mining, as you can see, or <coughs> marketing, online marketing really really big like two hundred dollars but you, you can only sign up if you actually this is for example are you involved in building solutions to help organizations understand their process better through analytics no i'm not so i can't really sign up for that um so if you're just like me it can be quite hard to find a, a gig that's like uh that you'd this because they get snapped up kind of fast so but i think it's still worth going on seeing if there's anything there it takes you 10 minutes a day maybe, no, maybe even two minutes a day just go on apply for a few that you might that might fit your that you might fit the bill for yeah sorry you're working here like you might have event management experience get ten dollars if it's ten dollars it's probably going to be 15 minutes work if it's a hundred dollars, depend that I suppose that depends on your experience. But for one I did for seventy five dollars, the second one I did also took me an hour, so that's like pretty good wage. It's probably like works out at a hundred and fifty dollars an hour that I've averaged. But yeah, just trying to find the actual gigs is uh for example I could sign up for this one. I think I've already signed try this one. Yeah, I've already taken the screener. But if I wanted to try to do this one, I'd click, yeah, take, take the screener. It would ask me a few questions about, let's, let's see if we can just do one. Yeah, I must verify my work email to do ones like this. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, I hope you kind of starting to get a picture of what it's like. So if you're a professional and you live in a, a really big city like London or New York and so there's a lot more jobs in Dublin there's yeah there's a few but there's also remote ones you can also do remote ones so a lot of these are one on one but they're from time to time you can get remote ones let's see if there's any here uh, how do I make it go oh yeah so there's two here it says one on one but I've clicked remote so you can just do <coughs> Skype ones so you can just do it from your house if you're if you fit the bill um, but yeah, I think if you're a professional and in one of these kind of, uh, current and sought after job types, and if you live in a, 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 one of the big cities in the world, you have a better chance of getting a job, but all in all, I definitely give it a, give it a try. Um, see, see what's there. Uh, I did. I'm happy with my use of it. It earned me a few, a, a little bit of money on the side that helped, helped, and I haven't really tried to make any more since I got a job. Um, so I think that's all I want to say about Respondent.io. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to sign up or via referral link or whatever. So I don't know if you sign up, maybe and get make money on also make like 20 bucks or whatever so if you enjoyed the video thank you so much um give me a like and let me know if there's any topics you'd like me to talk about in the future and if you have any experience using responding to yourself all right thanks thanks again goodbye cheers